Men, are you using the right fertilizer? Clue, this video is not about grass. Hey guys, my name is Dave, and if you haven't already done so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. The link will be in the description section down below. Make sure you like this video, comment on this video. I always love to hear what it is you guys think and what you have to say. And also be sure to share this video because when I'm done, I'm sure you'll see that there's some value that somebody you know could probably benefit from. And if you hang till the end, I got a bonus tip for you. So our relationships or our marriages, they're not easy. All of us know they take a lot of work. So, I man, let me ask you, do you remember when you were dating your bride or the person that you're with? I mean, how much time you spent just trying to woo her? I mean, do you remember? I mean, you were buying her candy, you were buying her gifts, you were buying her flowers, you were opening the door for her, you were doing all kinds of things to win her. So what happened? I mean, men, your wife is like a garden and you may not have realized it at the time, but what you were actually doing when you were doing all that stuff to win her, what you were doing is you were planting seeds in your garden. All that work that you did, you had a beautiful, lush, green, thriving garden. Now here's a little farming tip I want to give you guys. If you plant corn, what's going to grow? Corn. If you plant wheat, what's going to grow? wheat. The point I'm trying to make is you reap what you sow or I can put it another way you get what you plant. So men if you plant hatred, neglect, anger, nastiness or any caveat of negative emotions towards her that's exactly what you're going to get back from her. So if that's what you're getting you need to re-examine yourself. So if you're not happy with that guess who's the only one that can fix it? You you can't plant those type of attitudes or that kind of behavior towards her and expect any good to come from it. Just like you can't plant corn expecting wheat to grow. So what we do, men, is we start thinking, well, the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, let me tell you, that's a lie from the pit of hell. And what's sad is a lot of men fall for this and they end up destroying what could have been an amazing relationship with their partner. A lot of men, they don't even realize that they're responsible for taking care of their garden. I want you to imagine this for a minute. Imagine a man who has this amazing woman at home, okay, that he chooses, he's choosing to neglect or not treat the way that he did while he was pursuing her, like I talked about in the beginning. He can't even see what it is that he's doing to his own garden. And then what does he start doing is he starts looking to other women or looking at other women for that fulfillment that he's not getting because his woman is miserable. He can't even see that he's the problem, that he's causing the problem. Here's the best way I can put it. Your wife is your garden, like I've said a few times already. You have to nurture her. You have to water her with love. You have to fertilize her with love, your time and attention. Remember, God has placed this woman in your life and you as a spiritual head of your family. So if you're treating her this way and you're not liking how she's acting towards you, guess what? She's following her leader. The only time, men, that the grass seems to be greener on the other side is when you're neglecting your own garden or your own yard. So my advice to you is fertilize your own garden and make it beautiful again. So if you hung with me this long, I told you at the beginning that I had a bonus tip for you. So this is something I hear a lot of men say, and I've even heard a few women say this too. Hey, I can look at the menu as long as I eat at home, right? This is another lie from the pit of hell. If you want a good marriage, if you want a truly good marriage or just a good relationship, honor the lady that you're with with your eyes. And in every other way, your eyes are for her only. Okay, guys, that wraps it up. So if you're enjoying this content right here, make sure you watch this video right over here. And I'll see you guys on the next one.